winter break of freshman year. Entire mountain has been abandoned by the older occupants leaving me and my grandparents. Nothing much to do except watching TV or pissing around on this box. Get a warning for heavy snow. It's been snowing non-stop for a week. Decide to put on some music to help sleep. Next morning, wake up to see grandparents have left for town. Must have left before the storm cause I see no tire tracks in the snow. Get a call from them. Basically told that the roads are covered and they aren't able to drive up. Town and all the other residents are now isolated. There's about a week's worth of food left, so I won't go hungry. Try to watch some TV, but the satellite is blocked by snow. Get up and dress to go fix it. Walk outside to feel the wind whip my face. Colder than shit. Brush the snow off the satellite when I see something looking at me from the trees. WTF, our house is settled on a ledge on the side of the mountain. The road loops around our house and we're surrounded by woods. The back of the house, where the back porch is sits on the side and near the main road and next to the main road is the river. Looks to be human. A naked human. Hurry back inside and bolt the doors. Double lock the door that goes down to the basement. Make some soup and stay up watching the weather. Another snowstorm is coming. God damn it. Power goes out. Now I'm cut off from the town and alone on the mountain. Remember my granddad has a generator. Crank it up and restore the power. Louder than hell but it works. Stay up on computer when I hear a noise on the back porch. Lights go out. Go out back to find that something had tore up the generator. Nope. Claw marks all over the thing. Double nope. Grab some food, drinks, and a flash fight and lock myself in the bathroom. All night I could hear something shuffle on the roof and tap the wall. Wake up at 1 a.m. Phone on 64%. No signal. About to doze off when I hear something pierce the sky. Sounds like an animalistic, primal scream. Continues to scream for the next hour. Oh God make it stop. Uh, the screaming stops. I slowly get up and creep out of the bathroom. Decide if this thing is gonna keep on pulling this shit, I might as well have something to defend myself. Walk across the living room to my grandparents' room when. I look to the window. The moonlight illuminates a figure standing in the snow. I feel it staring at me. There is no god. Dash towards the room. Reach under the bed and grab the 12 gauge. Grab four boxes of shells from the chest in front of the bed. Load up. Grab my boots, coat, and hat. Walk outside and the thing is gone. See the footprints it left in the snow decide not to follow it. The sun rises, but is covered still by the storm. Pretty much night, but with more light. Do a check on all windows and possible entrances. This is my house damn it. Wait up all day until about 9.30 pm. Phone now on 20%. Fantastic. Hear movement come from the basement. No. Grab the gun and flashlight. Attach the light to the gun with duct tape. Redneck 100. Make my way down the stairs. Basement is unfinished, so it has a dirt floor. The area with the doorway has din while the farther back area has concrete floor but dirt walls. There are two outside doors and another room in the basement. The cold dank odor hits me hard. Shine the light all over area. Find footprints on the floor in front of me. It's in here. Check the other room down there. Nothing. Check the back area. Nothing. Turn around to find the secondary door has been opened. Run out and up the hill to the front yard. The thing left tracks. I've had enough. Follow the tracks up the road and into the back wood trails. Eventually the prints go off into the deeper part of the woods. Stupid horror movie tropes do exist people. Walk deeper into the woods. Snow up to my calves. Pins and needles are felt on my face. Eventually find a little den, built into a little dirt mound on the side of the hill. Starts snowing again. I see the creature sitting in its little hole. Fire around at it. Wanted to shoot the head but got its leg. Howls in pain. Gut wrenching, fear inducing howl can be here all over the mountain probably. It runs out and limps away into the woods. Limps uphill. I can't go after it with the weather like this. Shuffle back down to the house. Essentially lock and barricade all basement entrances. 
sit down in the bathroom and sleep. Hear something at the door at dawn. Hear it open. Burst out the bathroom with gun locked on at the door. It's my grandparents. Back quote hey, n o n what the hell are you doing? Sigh and chuckle. Tell them I had hear something outside and I freaked. They tell me that the roads had been cleared hence why they are home. No shit. Put the gun away and hug them. Never did tell them about it, about what I saw, what I did. I moved away during the summer with my mom, so hopefully my grandparents will be fine. Back up here for the summer. Can't sleep due to the new dog they got barking at night. Not again. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe.